Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu was asked by his students about the ayah, وَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ الَّذِينَ قُتِلُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ أَمْوَاتَ بَلْ أَحْيَاءٌ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ يُرْزَقُونَ do not say of those who were martyred in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they are dead. Rather, they are alive with their Lord in constant provision, in constant prosperity, in constant happiness. So Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu, when he was asked about this ayah, he describes a conversation that Allah had, the shuhada of Uhud, subhanAllah. So think about this gathering now. Qala radiallahu ta'ala anhu, أَرْوَاحُهُمْ فِي جَوْفِ طَيْرٍ خُدْرٍ لَهَا قَنَادِيرٌ مُعَلَّقَةٌ بِالْعَرْشِ تَسْرَحُ مِنَ الْجَنَّةِ حَيْثُ شَاءَتْ ثُمَّ تَأْوِي إِلَىٰ تِلْكَ الْقَنَادِيرِ فَاطَّلَعَ إِلَيْهِمْ رَبُّهُمْ اتِّلَاعًا Allah, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu says that the souls of the shuhada, the souls of the shuhada live in the bodies of green birds. Are they like the green birds that we see? No. Heavenly green birds. And they have their nests in the chandeliers that are hanging from the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They eat from the fruits of Jannah whenever they want. And they come back and they nestle in those chandeliers under the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah looked at them. فَطَلَعَ إِلَيْهِمْ رَبُّهُمْ Allah looked at them. Your Lord looked at them. And Allah said to them, هَلْ تَشْتَهُونَ شَيْئًا Do you want anything? Do you desire anything? I mean, you're living the life right now. Is there anything that you want? فَفَعَلَ ذَلِكَ بِهِمْ ثَلَاثْ مَرَّاتِ Allah asked them this question three times, and every single time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked them, they didn't say anything. They said, Ya Rabb, we're... <laughs> I mean, this is the maximum. We're okay. We're living the life right now. We're living this eternal promise. So he says, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saw أَنَّهُمْ لَا يُتْرَكُوا مِنْ أَنْ يُسْأَلُوا Or rather they saw that Allah was going to keep on asking them until they gave an answer. So when Allah looked at them and Allah kept on asking them and they realized they have to give Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala an answer قَالُوا يَا رَبْ نُرِيدُ أَن تَرُدَّ أَرْوَاحَنَا فِي أَجْسَادِنَا حَتَّى نُقْتَلَ فِي سَبِيلِكَ مَرَّةً أُخْرَى They said our Lord we want you to put our souls back in our bodies so that we can sacrifice for you once again. SubhanAllah. You're living all of this karama, all of this nobility, all of this honor, and your Lord is showering you with mercy and blessing. Ya Allah, we want to do it for you again. We have nothing to ask of you, but the love that you are showing, the nobility, the generosity, the magnanimity, Ya Allah, if we could do it again, put us back into the dunya and we will do it again. And the hadith ends of this conversation that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala فَلَمَّا رَأَى أَنَّ لَيْسَ لَهُمْ حَاجَ تُرِكُوا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, once he saw that they weren't going to ask him for anything else, he left them back to their, to their being. The shuhada continue to enjoy this life that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to them.